Hi, Bob Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be taking a material from Polygon.com, bringing it into Cinema 4D using our material converter, and then rendering it out using the physical renderer. Before we get started though, let's take a look at the materials that we're going to need during this video. We'll need wood flooring 044, which is one of the materials from our website, and the Polygon material converter add-on for Cinema 4D. I've already got both of these saved to my hard drive, and I'll include the link to them below the video. Okay, let's head over to Cinema 4D. So this is the scene we'll be working with today. It's a very simple scene, just a plane for our material to be uh, assigned to, and a skylight uh, with a HDR, and that's that's literally it. So, first thing we need to do is install the material converter. Once it's been installed, it will appear under plugins. Uh, you can see mine's just there. Um, but let's walk through the process of doing that. So this is the um, file that you would have downloaded from the website. Or, sorry, I should say the, the contents of the zip folder. Uh, and what I'm going to do, if that's what I've already done, is extracted all of that into a folder on my desktop. Okay, so you need to do that bit first. Then, once you've done that, just go to the script menu within Cinema 4D, user scripts, and then run script. From there, you need to basically find that folder. As I said, I put mine on the desktop, and then run the installer for the material converter. It's a .py file. Select that and hit open. Um, and it will come up with a message saying Polygon Material Converter has been installed successfully, etc, etc. Just click OK and that's that. Now it's actually straight away popped up with the Material Converter uh, plugin uh, dialog and that's what will come up when you go to the plugin itself. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about using it. The, you've got a few options that you need to check through here. The first one being the Textures folder and that's basically where you tell the converter where to look on your hard drive for materials. Um, now, in the case of mine, they are here, <laughs> um, and as you can see, I've got a whole host of different um, polygon materials already saved. Now, if I were to hit OK on this folder, the converter would be able to read them all and would bring them all into Cinema 4D. But what I'm going to do in this instance is just bring in one material, and to do that, you just find the material you want, click on that folder, and then hit OK. And you'll see the converter is now saying one material found. The next option is the renderer. Now, by default, the converter will analyze the settings in your scene, figure out what renderer you're using, and do that bit for you. Uh, my scene's already set up to use the physical renderer, but um, there's a bunch of other options available. Okay. Now, below that is the advanced settings. For normal use, you probably don't need to touch any of those, but if you do need to fiddle with those settings, that's where they are. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit Convert. Now, with that done, you'll see the uh, new material has been added down here. Um, and you literally just drag it onto the plane. You'll get a little uh, preview of what it's going to look like. And uh, that's, that's it. Material's now been assigned and we're good to go. Now I'm using the perspective camera as my rendering camera at the moment, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here and just get an angle about uh, there should be good. And then let's just give that a little render to see what it looks like. Okay, so that, that's, that's how the material is looking. Pretty good, I think you'll agree. Um, the only thing I want to adjust is the effect that the gloss map is having on our material. If you compare the image we have now with the reference materials on our website, um, the reflections are just a little more blurred uh, than they should be. And this is fairly typical. Different renderers have a different kind of implementation of PBR. Um, so you, you, you do find sometimes that you need to make a few tweaks here and there. And in this case, that's what we need to tweak. Okay, so to do that, we're going to double click on our material will bring up our little material editor here. You can also do it via the side panel here. Um, and then we're going to go down to Reflectance. Okay, And then from there, we're going to use this little drop down and take a look at the roughness settings. And we'll see here we've got our gloss map in there. Um, that's being inverted into a roughness map as it's a roughness input that the uh, physical shader is looking for. Um, but that, that's what's there. Now, to make some adjustments to it, what I'm going to do is click on this little arrow to the left and click on a layer. Now what that will do is bring in a layer shader and then part of that shader, if we click on it, will be our roughness map. You can see here, um, if I go back one, you see how the gloss map's really bright and uh, uh, actually quite close to white, but when we go over to the 
uh, layer preview it's showing what the map's actually looking like um, after it's been inverted um, so that, that's what that's why it's a darker color because it's now a roughness map anyway um, in fact just for ease I will name this roughness and if we turn this to screen and then start to lower this you'll notice it goes uh, all the way down to black and you can kind of tell in this preview as well that that we're, that we're making it more shiny more reflective but if I were to render it now with this with the slide it all the way down to zero um, we would have almost like a mirrored reflection which which certainly isn't what we're after but somewhere in the middle will be good say about 65 or so um, also the reason we're using a layer here is because in the next video um, we're going to be building on top of this so we're just kind of setting up the uh, setting the scene for that as it were but this is also a, a good method to um, to adjust the strength of a roughness map so with that done I'm gonna hit render again okay so looking a little better um, if I compare it with the previous image you'll see there what I mean about the the reflections are quite quite blurred whereas our new one are much more shiny and looks looks more like a nice clean uh, wooden floor so yeah good render so in summary we've taken a material from polygon.com brought it into Cinema 4D using our material converter made a slight alteration to the roughness map and then rendered it out using the physical renderer